Hello everybody, welcome to another version of Whacked Out Drivers in the Netty. First things first, the timing in the lower right hand corner of your screen is actually incorrect. It's about 12.40, 12.45 in the afternoon. The date is correct, May 19th. We are behind the city of Cincinnati truck. You notice how far back my wife is because they have no turn signal on. Notice they are they getting ready to move and still do not have a turn signal on. Now they are going to cut across multiple lanes of traffic which they should be using their turn signal when they're changing lanes like this and they still are not using a turn signal. Now we are actually headed to the post office. My wife's staying back and all of a sudden they put the brakes on. We're not expecting them to stop and again they are turning without using their turn signal. Now just in case anybody has the thought that well why are you filming them because they're not using a turn signal well this is caught on our dash cam and we was actually headed this way and they just happened to get in front of us at, and they was in the same lane we was in so i'm gonna keep this extra piece of footage in here so you can see in fact we was headed to the post office and they was in the same lane we was in but the the, the thing is you know they had three traffic violations in 30 seconds folks and actually the post office is right here on the right hand side you can see United States Postal Post Office right there we are turning into the parking lot there and you can see post office trucks there in the distance three traffic violations in 30 seconds they're not using a turn signal you can see it's clear as day here and you can definitely verify that when they take the brakes off here when it says 1030 right there and you can see no blinker and then when they make their turn they don't use the blinker to change lanes to go from you know to go from the lane they're supposed to be in to the right to the right hand lane they don't use you know, you know their turn signal and then they don't use their turn signal again to turn into the parking lot they just all of a sudden stop now this is a large truck large city truck this is actually one of those trucks that take and go around and suck out the stuff in the sewer like the sewer right there you just saw in the lower right hand corner the sewers in the streets and stuff and I think they can actually do some parking lots that's probably why, why they was turning into that parking lot maybe and if you look right there you can see a boom going across the top of the truck and down over the front of the windshield and then you can see a black hose comes all the way to the back then it goes into the the back of the truck that's that's probably what sucks up all the de debris out of the sewers and um, depending on where you live at I know um, here in our area when they go around and they clean up these uh, sewers um, they put orange ribbons on them um, and I, I'm, I believe that's so they that's how they mark it so you know that sewer's been done uh, again I, I'm guessing that's how it's put those ribbons are for but you know this person made you know three traffic violations in 30 seconds and it's just absolutely insane and if the average person would have done that they, they would have got a ticket and you know if if they would have got rear-ended whose fault would it have been they stopped all of a sudden with no warning to the to the vehicles behind them absolutely no warning whatsoever that they are getting ready to turn and you're supposed to give a warning that you're getting ready to make a turn. That's the purpose of your turn signal. So, folks, here is yet another reason why you should be installing a dash cam in your vehicle. Because this would have been your word against the driver of this truck's word. Okay? And this is an open shut case. Open shut case. This driver stopped all of a sudden, without warning, to make a turn, without giving him a signal. And as you can see, it was all caught on dash cam. And because my wife was back far enough, you know, she was able to stop with, with enough distance. She was able to stop. But you got people out there 
that, I mean, luckily, we just made the turn, you know, there wasn't a lot of speed or anything involved. What if there was more of a, more of a speed factor involved in something like this? I mean, you just saw this driver make a turn from a line without using a turn signal, changing lanes without using a turn signal, turn into a parking lot without using a turn signal. What if it's a situation where a more of a speed is a situation and he's got somebody or she's got somebody coming up behind them at a high rate of speed and they are not yielding and you've got that I think the law is like a hundred feet you're supposed to uh, give warning before you make a turn you're talking about a serious situation can you imagine a small car driving into the back of this vehicle it could be fatal because the driver failed to turn their turn signal on to give the vehicle behind them warning that they're going to be stopping and making a turn. And especially a truck like this, a vehicle like this, it's going to take them a while to make that turn. You saw how long it took them to make that turn into that parking lot. It's not, not like a car or a truck or a Jeep or any other vehicle, they can just pull right in there. It takes them a while to pull in there. They need time to pull in there. It's a large vehicle. It's a it's a heavy vehicle. That's part I'm sure, you know, I'm not a lawmaker, but I'm pretty sure that's part of the reason why the law is you need a hunt you're supposed to give a hundred feet warning. You're supposed to put your blinker on a hundred feet warning so the cars behind you know that you're getting ready to make that turn. Absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. And this to be a city driver? Man, oh man. One thing I do want to add, I do believe this is truck 31982. Um, I did mention that on the dash cam. I thought my audio was recording and it was not. Um, but again, uh, this was in Queensgate. It was around 1240, 1245 in the afternoon on May 19th. Um, so I'm assuming you guys, if the city sees this vehicle, they know why this truck was in this area at this time. Um, but again, I think this is, um, the number was 31982. It's hours later that I'm putting this video together. So I can't really tell the um how clear the um are the numbers that's on the truck but again uh, that is my best guess and if anybody's wondering what kind of dash cam we have here it is right here it um it's very simple this is actually um think uh, i think the e-packet is the people we got from i can't remember, can't really remember if that's what the name of, of the uh company was we got it off of ebay paid 35 dollars for it you can see it's uh, it's a mirror dash cam. Everything is hard is uh, hardwired into our vehicle. The uh, rear view camera you see right there. It's a little square camera. Sometimes you get a square camera. Sometimes you might get a round camera. It just just depends on. But basically, it's still the same camera. They're both waterproof camera uh, cameras. You can mount them on the outside of your vehicle, depending on what kind of vehicle you have. You can mount them on the inside. We chose to have ours mounted on the inside, and it does a bunch of different things you can see it records in h264 it's got a 140 degree view angle three uh, the, the uh, screen is a, is a 4.3 inch display motion detection loop video recording means which means it will record over itself so you don't have to keep um pulling out a memory card putting a memory card in or keep reformatting it now if you get too many saved files then you will have to reformat the card and here is basically everything you get you can see the uh, power supply down there the there in the center of your screen is two like rubber bands this straps the mirror or um, dash cam to your current mirror and if I want to pay close attention to these red wires you see the red wires to the rear dash cam this is a special feature to this if uh, actually we're going to have this done best buy is going to do this for us they said it cost uh, probably about 50 bucks to have it done if you take those red wires and they attach them to your reverse lights when you put your vehicle in reverse it takes that rear view camera and it turns it into a backup 
camera. So then on your monitor, you're going to see lines and everything. Now, I'm not, again, I'm not 100% positive on how this works, so I don't know if it's just straight lines or if they turn while you turn or anything because I haven't had it done yet. But I do know for a fact there is lines. They're red, yellow, and green. So I can only assume that, you know, if you're close to something, they're going to turn red. If there's nothing behind you, it's green. If you're getting close to something, they turn yellow. But folks, for $30, $35, and if you get it on Amazon, you get a Prime account, it's no shipping. Go to eBay, you got to pay for shipping most of the time. You can't beat it. You cannot beat it. And if you got that $100, $250, $500 deductible, <laughs> it's a no-brainer. An absolute no-brainer. Thank you for watching. And remember, folks, keep your eyes on the roads and out of the cell phones. Distractive driving is taking way, way too many lives. And at the end of the day, that text message can wait until you put that car in park. Your family loves you and wants to see you make it home safe. Thank you for watching. This is the Bulldozer, and I'm out of here. Here's some more videos you might be interested in. The video on the senior screen is where we had an encounter with the Metro bus driver in downtown Cincinnati. Traffic was messed up, but he was supposed to stay behind his white line at a red light, and he came through, he came through the intersection outside his lane of travel and was trying to go around cars and was trying to cut off cars that was in our lane of travel. And... If you watch this video, you'll see, actually, he gets so close to the back of our car, you can barely see the bike rack on the front of the car. The video on the left-hand side of the screen is where we were, leave, we were leaving Good Samaritan Hospital on the west side of town, and this dually truck blows this red light and almost T-bones this Jeep, and it's just absolutely insane. Here it comes right here, and look how fast this dually truck is coming. And he must have looked up at the last second and swerved to miss this Jeep. Otherwise, he would have flipped that Jeep. And the video on the right-hand side of your screen is where these people decide to run a red light right in front of a Delhi police officer. I mean, they was going so fast, their entire car tilted to the right just as the Delhi police officer was coming up over that hill. It was absolutely hilarious. This, these people absolutely picked the wrong time to run that red light and the thing is they didn't even slow down and see if anybody was crossing the street or anything don't forget folks to make sure you check out the other videos on the channel and just so everybody knows I don't make no money doing this this is all educational purposes this is a tool to help educate people giving them reasons on why they need to have a dash cam in our vehicle just so everybody's aware of that I make no money doing this okay so don't think all these videos are put up to make money because they're not this video is uploaded as an educational tool and if I'm not mistaken that that is also put in the description this video is uploaded for educational purposes so again everybody drive safe and remember like I said in this video you know, your family wants to see you make it home. So, keep your eyes on the road and out of the cell phones. And that text message can wait till the car is in park. This is the Bulldozer. Drive safe. And I'm out of here. Floor, just a rebel on your own. On the bed, to bed, to bed.